coffee and it's 10 o'clock in the morning um we've been up a while i've done some work on the computer as well this morning so i'm already ahead of the game but i need to clean up i really really need to clean up the floor looks like it hasn't been hoovered in a month and it has it doesn't look that way let me just put my coffee down oops so i'm having a coffee and then i need to get on and get some cleaning up done i've got some washing that i need to go and put upstairs on the area i'm holding i brought it in yesterday it didn't quite dry and it's still in the kitchen i'm hoping i can get it back out on the line but i'm not sure if it's going to rain or not it may rain mm. so first of all this morning cleaning and then finlay's got an appointment with doctors this afternoon which that was the appointment he should have had yesterday. <laughs> um, they've rescheduled it for today, if I may bless them. So I've got that to do this afternoon, but because we missed the appointment yesterday, we can't go down to the village surgery. So we've got to head on over to the big doctors and have it there instead. That's fine. So we've got to do that this afternoon. I've got to get cleaned up. I've got some more jobs to do, which I'll do in amongst other things today and that's about it do you want to see my blanket i started yesterday oh why did i drop my hook goodness me i dropped my hook so for those of you that watch ali at little drops of wonderful you'll know she promotes hugely an ugly blanket i've never had an ugly blanket so i decided we needed an ugly blanket i've got so many scraps of dk you know when i've made a garment and i've got a ball left here or half a ball here i've got two i have those boxes you know you get the ikea shelves and you put the boxes in well i have two boxes filled with dk weight scraps so i intend to use them all this is what i've got so far and i'm just gonna stick colors in it doesn't matter what colors they are it doesn't matter if it matches it's going to be a huge ugly blanket for the sofa so that i did that on zoom last night i got loads done oh we had such a lovely zoom last night let me just pop this back i'm back yeah we had such a lovely zoom last night it was really nice and i got that done so yeah it's been fab so plans for today get off the sofa get the cleaning up done danny is pointing at himself why what are you doing today huh? what are you doing today yeah, Mary, oh yeah i've got to cut danny's hair don't let me forget <laughs> don't let me forget i've got to do that I would go to a barber, but you're free. <laughs> <laughs> you're supposed to say I would go to a barber, but you're better. You are better. <laughs> you are better. You are better. Thank you, darling. At least Finlay said it. <laughs> yeah, don't let me I forget. I don't so so Yeah, it doesn't take long to cut his hair. <laughs> just blow it. <laughs> Falls off. Um, <laughs> that comment didn't go down well. <laughs> yes. Do not let me forget. I must do that. Um, I'm not sure what we're having for tea yet. It will either be pizza or chilli. Pizza or chilli tonight, I think. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. But first of all, move, Alex. Move. <laughs>
say to his appointment? Yes. I was adamant. She rang up yesterday to say we'd missed the appointment. And I was adamant she had the day wrong. And I said, no, no, you told me Wednesday. And she said, I did say the 25th. I said, no, you didn't. I said, you said Wednesday. I checked my messages this morning. She did in actual fact say the 25th. So now I need to apologise. Yeah, but I mean, the 25th, you should have ID'd the day, shouldn't you? <laughs> yeah. So, we're just walking over now. It's nice and sunny, but very windy and very cold. Yeah, because you don't really think about what day it is, you think about what day it is. Like, you think it's Tuesday, not Tuesday. You've three drains. Three wishes, three wishes. Anybody else do that if you walk over three drains, you say three wishes, three wishes, three wishes. I always avoid them. <laughs> I'm walking down the street and I'll suddenly avoid three drains. I, I always go to it. No, there. Do you? Yeah. No, it's um, like when we're walking, and it, that's, there's that three drain thing. Mm -hmm. I always step in it there. Yeah. Oh, this doctor's, isn't it? Oh, yeah, this doctor's. So this is just the bigger doctor's surgery. It, we have one, but some doctors work out of this surgery as well. So sometimes you have to come to this one because the doctors work out of here different days a week because it's a nightmare in this car park. You look quite empty. It, yeah, it doesn't usually. Oh. Right, we're going to go. Well, it's a bin. We've got to find the ramp upstairs and all that. So. We're parked in Tesco's. It's a big car park and it's only over the road. And there's a staircase if we don't go on the door. <laughs> Finlay got to walk up the Tesco's stairs, which he seems very excited about. Yep. It's like me. Please buy little things in life. <laughs> right, we're gonna go. Hacking it down when we came out of the surgery. Came back back here, there's no rain. You calm down now. The dog has been howling oh, apparently while I've been out. Absolutely howling. Non stop. Non she does non have um separation anxiety. <laughs> That's a long um, statement. I've got something in my eye. Sorry, so everybody. Good. <laughs> what are you laughing at me for? I'm um, just something in your eye. You'd only say that when I come and join your camera. Just look at Danny a minute while I sort my eye out. Oh, okay. Hello, everyone. Don't still put the camera on me. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone. <laughs> As you see, I'm trimmed <laughs> for the first time in a long time. Are no, oh, you back now? Yeah. As you can see, it's a uh, game night tonight. It is. It's football for these two tonight. They are very, very excited. I managed to embarrass myself in the doctors, as usual. Nice. I don't have to go far to embarrass myself. I told Danny the tale already. Touch it, there's nothing there. And he was <laughs> laughing at me. Right, it's, it happens, don't it? So... In that doctor's surgery, there is two doctors in one. It's a really big building and it's got an upstairs, right? I am terrified of heights, beyond, like, spider terrified of heights. And if you go upstairs, they've got, like, this bridge to get across to the other part of the building. And it's not... It's a completely open bridge, you know, with glass panels on the side, so it just looks like a floor. And she called us in and... um I had to go over this bridge. I, I don't do that. And I got and I got to the start of it and I just completely froze. Mm. Completely, utterly froze. Poor Finlay, she was on the other side of the bridge. And she went, oh, are you scared? <laughs> yeah. So Finlay had to help me across. I felt a right idiot. When she let us out at the end, she said, no, to save you going back over the bridge, if you go, there's some stairs to get down. So when we'd finished, finished Finlay's session, she goes, right, just go through that door, go down to the bottom of the stairs and just follow the exit signs to get out, which sounds simple enough. But no, it wasn't simple enough. We ended up in a basement somewhere where we shouldn't have been at all. So we quickly ran, up, ran back up. Um, and that was my fault. I, I saw the door. <laughs> and then we were just going through these endless doors. You know when you get those... Hall of Crazy Mirrors. It was like one of those. It was just doors, like pick a door, pick a door. Which one are you going to go through? It was really weird and freaky. At the doctors as well. 
Happy Honestly, Halloween. it was. It was a bit Halloween-ish. <laughs> well, anyway, we got out and we survived and everything's fine, but oh my word. <laughs> so we're just discussing what we're having for tea. Uh, you're having cauliflower cheese. Cauliflower pie. I got this thing in Tesco's yesterday. It's a cauliflower cheese pie. It looked really nice. It's only a, a literally. I quite fancy that with some veg. I only bought one for me because nobody else will like that, but I love cauliflower cheese. I don't like, I'm a bit funny with pies, but vegetable pie I'm fine with. So I think I want to try that. Okay, I don't know. Maybe chicken and chips or something, I don't know. I ain't decided yet. I'll have a look. I want to have a look. I don't know. <laughs> something, something quick and easy and simple. Don't want to cut into my, you know, busy schedule. <laughs> My bread baker arrived. I haven't used it yet. There's no point now till tomorrow, but I'm going to try it out in the morning. Exciting. Right, we're going to go. We'll be back. Hello. It is five past six. Finlay's here. Um, and the dog's here. And the dog's here as well. So I thought I'd better end the vlog. I'm sorry about the state of my hair. I'm about to go get in the bath and get my hair washed. I think I've mentioned before, I only wash my hair every couple of days. So when I've got my hair up... That's the day that I wash my hair. I don't even know why you need to know that, but there you go. Now you do. <laughs> that cauliflower cheese pie I had from Tesco's was absolutely lovely. Really filling. I think it's a little bit big. Um, I didn't manage to eat the whole thing, but it was very, very nice. I'll definitely be buying those again. They come in the... Um, you know where they do like the ginsters, pies and all that? They're in there and they're just like just one portion. Really, really nice. I'm going to get another one next week. <coughs> I'll tell you what I've been watching this afternoon. Oh, my God. I have been watching The School of Chocolate. Does anybody else watch it? It's on Netflix. Let's watch the dog sweet. One second. Let me move the pooch. Oh, come and sit this side so you don't get squashed. That's it. Sit this side. There you go. Good girl. She's very tired. Yeah, it's called The School of Chocolate. It's on Netflix. And oh my word, it's amazing. It's um, a really top, you've seen really far away. Bring that a bit closer. A really top chocolatier that is that is running like, it's a competition to see who's the best chocolatier. It's absolutely brilliant. I've been completely addicted to it. There's eight episodes and it is so good and it's all about creating illusions out of chocolate and edible things they did um oh my word there's so many things there was the episode i've just watched the students had to make something aimed at children that was really bright so somebody made a hot air balloon on a rainbow and it has to stand up on its own it was so good Somebody else made um, the moon and put a spaceship on the moon. It was brilliant. If you want something to watch on Netflix, I can really, really recommend that. It was so, so it's so good. It really is so good. So you all right, darling? Any nice day? Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of you comments. There might be a comment. Do you want to check your phone while I'm chatting mm. and see if there's a comment? I think there is a question for you. I have made a little candle cosy today. Do you want to see it? There we go. Look at that. Isn't it sweet? It's just crochet. It's really sweet, isn't it? I sat and made it this afternoon. I really like it. It looks so cosy on the table with the candle lit in here. It's lovely. Have I ever thought it might be fun to dye some yarn? Danny did offer me to help dye some yarn tomorrow morning. So if I sprinkle it, it could become the thin yarn. The he's going to have thin. a go tomorrow. Danny's going to supervise him, obviously, and help him. But he's going to dye some yarn tomorrow. I think we're going to call it the yarn of thin. The yarn of thin. Yeah, limited edition yarn of thin. <laughs> um, Is that more? Yeah, that's from Daddy Stucky. Yeah. Um, I got a high thin. Uh, it's the it's the last clue for the Stephen West tomorrow. Oh my word! And I've been meaning to mention all week. I don't know if I mentioned it. I don't think I've mentioned it on the vlog. I think I keep meaning to mention it, 
and then forgetting and remembering it after the video has been uploaded. Someone got married 48 years ago. Today. Yes, I wanted to say that. Lynn, congratulations on your anniversary. Happy anniversary to you both. Do you want to say happy anniversary? Happy anniversary, you and Thomas. So it's Lynn's wedding anniversary today and it's 48 years. That is amazing. So I hope you guys have had an amazing day. Oh, it really made me smile when I read that this morning. Yeah. Uh, a lot of fun. So, yes. Um, it's the last Stephen West clue tomorrow, which I am super, super excited about. I oh, cannot wait to see question. the finished product. Go on, then. Where is Finn's green sweater? <laughs> From the Sandy. I was hoping you weren't going to see that. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, Andy. Hey, he has a question. Why doesn't Danny drive? Finn's green sweater is in the bedroom. Okay. Where it is staying, he will not allow me to throw it out. There's a question. He still wants to wear it. There's a question for Danny. Mm. I have mentioned it before in the vlog. Somebody has asked who asked that question. Diane Williams. Diane, the reason Danny doesn't drive is because he's always lived in the city and he's always worked on trains. So he has had just no reason to drive. It's not till um, we met and he moved here with me that we live a bit out in the sticks and suddenly need to drive, but at the moment lessons are expensive, but he, he, he does plan on learning. Yeah, he did have a few lessons. He did have a few lessons, yeah. He can actually drive, he just doesn't have a, a driver's licence, but he can actually drive. But he never needed to, living in the city. Um, yes, so the last Stephen West clue tomorrow. Oh my God, I cannot wait to see. I'm going to be so excited mm. in the morning. I'm already so excited now. It's such a long time since I've been this excited about anything. So I can't wait to see tomorrow what, how it's going to end up. I really can't. But also the thing that I, I keep meaning to mention and I keep forgetting is um, Helen Stewart has brought out Knitvent. So you can go on to, uh, if you type into Ravelry, Knitvent 22, it will bring it up. And what that is, is it's over the course of five weeks, on a Thursday, you get a new pattern. And it's based on, do you know what? I'm going to read it to you because I'm not doing it any justice trying to explain it in my stuttery way that I do. Let me bring it up. Mm -hmm. Nice. I don't know why it makes a noise like that. Right. Knit Bent is a collection of six accessory patterns for you to discover and knit one by one. It's all about gifts, surprises and holiday knitting to delight you and the lucky folks on your knit worthy list. <coughs> it's the 10th anniversary of the curious handmade Knit Bent tradition and this collection captures the eclectic... Ecle I can't say that word... Eclectic joy of bits and pieces, treasured odds and ends, special scraps and the little things we love to stash away. For knit vent number 10, I wanted to do something a little different. Every year since 2017, the scrappy pattern has been the star of each knit vent. It's always the biggest project in the collection, designed to be made out of 24 mini skeins. Whether pulled from your stash or a cu curated festive set from an indie dyer, this year I had so much fun designing that project that all I wanted to do was make more projects out of minis. And I decided on the spot that the whole collection would be in mini skeins. So whether you're a stash diver who loves to forage for beautiful scraps or you've got a precious set of minis but aren't in the mood to commit to a giant project. Or if you just want to knit a series of gorgeous gifts with any yarn that steals your heart you're going to have a lot of fun this knit vent. It's a cross between a holiday countdown and a mystery knit along. The experience of getting a secret knitting pattern in your inbox each week brings back the childhood joy of surprises. It's all about anticipation, surprise and homemade gifts you can make for yourself and your loved ones, even if you've left it until almost the last minute, that's so me. Over the course of five festive weeks, you will receive a series of secret mystery knitting patterns each designed to be quick and satisfying. There's a strong community aspect with a busy knit along and lovely prizes, bustling chat threads on Ravelry and tons of inspiration on Instagram. So join us for a light-hearted exploration of joy, of holiday movies and hand-knit presents. We love to have you along. 
this will be the first year this year that I've done um, the knit vent and it does look really good. So that actually starts tomorrow as well. So I'm super, super excited Which about that. I'll be doing the Stephen West first, but when I need a break, I'll be doing the knit vent as well. <clears throat> yeah, quick thing for the end, it. I just want to see you, Jack. <laughs> you, you came up with the camera. <laughs> oh, he showed his claws as well, just to look big and hard. <laughs> While he's on camera, look at my claws. <laughs> <laughs> Took the golden opportunity. He did. He was flexing his claws. <laughs> showing how big they are. Showing, showing why I can't get kicked out or else, he'll win, he'll, or else he'll win every fight on the street. Right, we are going to go. So thank you so much for joining us today. We'll see you tomorrow for day 27. Bye, everybody. Bye.